If you guys do want to have a chance of winning an account on FIFA 19, on the Xbox One, or on the PlayStation 4 with over 300,000 coins, all you have to do is just subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and you will be entered into my monthly giveaway. Good luck to everyone. You can do whatever you want with the coins on the account. You can transfer them over to your main account. I don't care. It's up to you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another squad builder. Today, I'm building a team that will cost you about 500k, and this is an awesome team. It's gonna be built around the new flashback SBC Torres. I'm gonna be telling you guys my opinion on this SBC as well, if I think it's worth doing or not. So stick around, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy, subscribe if you're new. I upload daily FIFA 19 squad builders. So let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next. And let's go ahead and start building this team. The goalkeeper is going to be from the League 1. And we are going to be going with Rufier. And this guy is mainly in the team for the chemistry. But he's a really decent goalkeeper. And then the center back on the right is going to be a Brazilian. Which is going to be Thiago Silva. And I think this guy is kind of underrated on FIFA. Not too many people use him. But in my opinion, this guy is in incredible 71 pace six feet tall so not the tallest but he does have 90 jumping 90 interceptions 89 marking 90 stand tackle intercepts completely everything and then the right back is gonna be his teammate which is gonna be a player that i do have as untradeable which is gonna be monier a great right back i've been using him a lot recently ever since the patch a lot of people crossed the ball and this guy has become really op he's six foot three so wins me every header 92 stamina 85 strength really strong for a right back and then the center back on the left hand side is gonna be a player from la liga which is gonna be um titi only about 45k on the market 88 defending 82 physical again not the tallest but he also does have a really high jumping 89 jumping 90 marking 89 stand tackle played really well in this team and then the left back is gonna be his teammate which is gonna be jordi alva in my opinion the best left back in la liga I think he's better than Marcelo. 93 pace, 83 dribbling, really good on the attack and also defensively. 90 agility, 84 interceptions, 91 stamina, and that's been at the defense of the team. And then moving to the midfield, the CDM on the left hand side is gonna be a center mid, which is gonna be Saul, a really well rounded player. Every stat above 70, 85 ball control, 85 short pass, played really well in this team. He can attack, he can defend, and then uh, the other CDM. CDM is gonna be another center mid, which is gonna be Fabinho, one of my favorite midfielders. 6 foot 2, 71 pace, 84 defending, 84 physical, only about 25k. Really high stamina and also aggression, and stamina really does matter, especially if you guys do play on constant pressure. So those have been the two CDMs. And then the center attacking mid on the right is gonna be the beast, that is Kevin De Bruyne. I actually do not know how to pronounce it, let me know down below in the comments section how. I've always called him Kevin De Bruyne, but it could be De Bruyne. He has an amazing card on FIFA this year. Only about 210k, 86 shooting, 92 passing, and that 5 star weak foot, which makes him really OP. Really impressive in game stats. 91 shot power, 91 long shots, 92 short pass, 91 ball control, 90 stamina. He played really well in this team, and he's been dropping in price over the past couple of days. So for about 210k, I think that is a really nice deal and then the other center attacking mid of course is this flashback SBC Torres and people have mixed opinions on him the SBC from scratch should cost you about 250k I think I spent a bit over 100k as I had a lot of players in my club already untradeable so it didn't really cost me too much but again from scratch I think it is kind of expensive considering Ibra was a lot cheaper I think this SBC is honestly not worth it. If you guys are struggling on coins, I really wouldn't do it. You do get good packs in return, I think. But again, for that price, unless you guys have untradeable players in your club already, I would just save my coins for another SBC. I only completed this SBC for this video. So Fernando Torres, 91 pace, 91 shooting. And let me tell you first off, I don't think his pace is 91. In game, he does not feel anywhere near 91 pace. I'm not too sure why. And also that 89 dribbling is 
isn't that good either. I think it's mainly because of the height and his agility is only 81. So on the ball, he really isn't fast. He's kind of clunky to be honest. And then another problem I do have with this card is the stamina. 75 is just not good enough. He will last you until like the 70th minute. But after that, I would recommend you guys go ahead and sub him off. And I think the last thing I have a problem with this card is the work rates. Medium, medium, they aren't the best. And now talking about what I like about this card, I think the finishing is really good and he's quite strong as well. 90 strength, although I think he really doesn't feel that strong, I think it's because of the balance. So he does fall to the ground sometimes and also if you guys like crossing, this guy is a pretty big aerial threat. 94 jumping being 6 foot 1, but again sometimes he won't be in the box as he does have those medium medium mark rates. That's my opinion on this card. Again, I would honestly not recommend it. Only do it if you guys are like a big Taurus fan or somehow he fits your team and you have a lot of coins. I would just skip out on this SBC. So that's been the center attacking mid on the left hand side. And then the striker up top is gonna be Rodrigo, the man of the match card. And this is a really decent striker. 91 pace, 85 shooting. He feels really fast, has really decent finishing as well. 86 finishing, only about 55k on the market. So quite cheap. And then the final striker, it is gonna be the beast that is Roberto Firmino, one of my favorite players on the game. And I can't believe he's only about 20k on the market. 83 shooting, 86 reveling, a really nice well rounded card. 87 finishing, 87 composure, played really well in this team. And again, for the price, a complete bargain. And that right there has been the team for about 500k. This is an awesome team. It played really well. And in game, I do change formation to the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation and then that right there is how the team did play in game. I did play Fabinho as the CDM. Firmino did play as a center mid and he plays quite well in that position. De Bruyne did play as the center attacking mid and then up top Torres and also Rodrigo. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have and subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next. If there's a budget or a player that you guys do want to see me build a team around it's been etg and i'll see you guys next time peace